It's Back to the Boulevard as a time-honored automobile cruising event is revived in order to honor a culture and revitalize a neighborhood. Here are Raj and Renee to tell us all about it. Hey, thanks for joining us, you guys. Good morning, Tracy. Thank you for having us. Happy Friday. Well, tell us, first of all, a little bit about the event and maybe a little bit of the history of the event, too. Sure. So Back to the Boulevard is a, a two <clears throat> organizers, myself and a good friend of mine, Henry Rommel's. We started it back because of our passion, being in the the the, the business of automotive yeah. here on Franklin Boulevard. We said, you know, we experienced back in the 80s, 90s, Franklin Boulevard used to be a cruising zone. So we were able to, to experience that as we were growing up. And, and we just have so much in our district on Franklin Boulevard to offer. So we did, we started it off with the parade many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. The parade got bigger and bigger and bigger. And then eventually, we got a lot of exposure where the cars, the custom cars wanted to come out and participate. They call it a show and shine so they can show their cars off. Ah, so we thought, what a neat thing to bring back something that we experience and, and in a bigger scale. So we got a lot of support from councilmen and, and mayors and, and our district and um, bringing back something that we experienced on Franklin Boulevard. And then um, now we're bringing it back to Cal Expo. Oh. And we used to do that back in the 80s and 90s as well. So we're trying to get that experience in a bigger scale at Cal Expo. Oh, wow, mm -hmm. that is a bigger experience. That's yes. very cool. So, you know, cultural heritage is very much a part of this. Tell us a little bit more about that, if you will. So the event that we would do on Franklin Boulevard would be during the, the 16th of September, our Independence, mm -hmm. Mexican Independence weekend. And uh, we would just bring out a lot of local dancers, a lot of the, the musicians, Mexican musicians, and really just get them to experience what we offer on Franklin Boulevard. Again, we're, we're an amazing boulevard there. Our district is amazing. Yeah. Besides our businesses being there, we, you know, we got the, the, the best Mexican bakery in Northern California, oh. top notch in California, La Esperanza <laughs> Bakery, you know, uh -huh. really great family there. We got the, the two uh, oldest Mexican restaurants in Sacramento on Franklin Boulevard, Caballo Blanco and El Noviero. Great, both families are just awesome. You know, who doesn't know Gunther's ice cream, you know, if they're on Franklin Boulevard, right? right? And then, right. then you got the Roma's pizza, one of the top pizzas. Yes. So with all that, and then everybody comes on Franklin Boulevard when they want work on their cars. You know, they want to get this done, this done. They, mm -hmm. they all come to Franklin Boulevard. So we got so much to offer. So we started it off with, with getting that exposure during that 16th of September weekend, the parade, and like I said, the, the cruise. And now we want to just bring it at a bigger scale in Cal Expo. You could just eat your way through Franklin Boulevard. I mean, you may be hungry just talking exactly. about all of those places. Exactly. <laughs> so Raj, we were, you were kind enough to bring a car out for us today to take a look at. So we're gonna go outside and tell us a little bit about the car that you brought here today. Okay, uh, so the car that we brought today uh, is actually a friend of mine and we're in the same car club, uh, Montreal Spivey with Premacy Car Club. It's a 62 Chevy Impala. Uh, it's fully chromed undercarriage, uh, candy paint job, custom paint job, custom interior. It has hydraulics, murals. Uh, it is a low rider. Um, again, what Renee referred back to Franklin Boulevard used to be a real big cruising zone for the 80s, mm -hmm. specifically for low riders. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how the whole cruise, you know, started on Franklin. And that's our passion is that, but you know, we, we like, if you're a car enthusiast, it doesn't matter what kind of car it is, a hot rod, classic, uh, yeah. four by four. If you're a car enthusiast, we're, you know, we're wanting everybody to come out and enjoy this back to the Cal Expo event, uh, car show and concert. Um, you know, if, if that's what you're into cars and you want to see beautiful cars, all types, this is where you want to come. If you have one, please come down, register it, you know, uh, the day of. Uh, our indoor is already sold out, so we do have more than enough room outside for as many cars. So, yeah, if you if you got, if you got a car and you want to bring it out and show it off, that would be the day to come down, March 18th. Show and shine, as they yep. say. <laughs> so I have to ask, what are people's reactions when they see those cars? Well, specifically, like that kind of car, before in the past, lowriders had a different kind of stigma, but now we're mainstream now. You're on movies, music videos, you know, the Super Bowl the, the year before, right. you know. Right. So, you know, yeah. that that has changed a lot. And I yeah. think uh, we're accepted a lot more now. Absolutely. And Renee, you mentioned a little bit, but how did local businesses and politicians support this, support this event? You know, we get a lot of support from the politicians and the local businesses. And, and again, starting on Franklin Boulevard, and now we're exposing them over at the bigger scale at Cal Expo. 
And uh, we're trying to get in the custom cars. You know, we're going to have some live music, a lot of local bands. You know, we got uh, Adam and the Aces will be performing, great performer. We got a, a group called Cuvo, oh. another local local performer. And then we're bringing in some Southern California talent, a Pepe Marquez and a Raquel Ramirez that uh, bring have a good following for these custom car uh, 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 folks that love love to experience it. And then we have a really good coach um, there on in, on Franklin Boulevard for boxing. And so he's going to expose a couple of, of of his boxers that day and just to kind of get their names out there. So so we're looking forward to to to. The 18th there at Cal Expo. Oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Now, Renee, you also you involved your son in this event, and that was big for you because you want the younger generation to, to get involved in this. What do you hope they gain from this event? You know, um, I didn't know what their exposure was going to be and what, what they're going to, if they're going to enjoy it. And um, so when I brought them out on the 19th to, to help out my three children, my kids, adults now, right? And and they, uh, they loved it. Okay. They loved it. And what I noticed is a lot of folks in our generation was bringing out their older kids, their grandkids, and it, it turned out to be a family event. Mm. And, um, you know, the big difference from our events, our, our events are our monitor. We, 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 we have PDs, we have security. We, you know, we don't just pop up and just do a cruise. We, 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 we organize it and, and that's where, you know, the investment is. We want it to be safe for everybody so Absolutely. they can bring their families and, and enjoy it. And, that's what makes this event different. Back to the Boulevard is what that, that's what they offer with the support of the district of Franklin Boulevard. Huh? And as you both mentioned, you want to overcome stereotypes and make this really a family friendly event. So again, tell us a little bit about the other stuff that's going to be out there, the boxing, the music, all the, I mean, tell us a little bit yeah, about it's, that. Yeah, it's, it's basically like, like you would experience at, at a Cal Expo State Fair, right? But we got the custom cars, we got live music, uh, a lot of good food, right? And then you got the, the the coach exposing his boxers at the same time. So, so, so you'll get all that package in once there. So give us all the details, where, when, all the details. One last time for folks who so just might be joining March 18, us. Saturday would be the day at Cal Expo. Okay, we still got room to register your car for the day of. Oh. Um, we still have plenty of tickets for the day of the event. Okay. You could get a, there's, they're on sale now. You can buy them online through our website. You could get everything through our website and um, you'll save some money if you but do a pre-sale now, and then the day of will be a different price. But uh, but yeah, we're 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 excited about this event. So bringing it back and the excitement's there, and and uh, just the support we're getting from everybody. We're we're looking forward to it. Well, we really appreciate both of you being here. This is going to be a great event. And if you guys would like to go to it for more information, you can go to backtotheboulevard.com.